to know it on Generation Zero Gear, Burger Player drives a car without license in hands. Hello, this is an explanation of the following joke that you have now seen, in which in my British Top Gear accent say the following, Burger Player drives a car without license or hands. Now this is a meme. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, the concept of a meme, noun, is an image, idea, video, etc. that is spread very quickly on the internet. Thus, memes in its various forms of media can be interpreted as a joke, depending on its content. But then you ask yourself, what is the definition of a joke? To understand this very complicated concept, we must refer back again to the good old word dictionary, which will have the very answers we say. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, joke, the noun, is something such as funny story or trick that has been said or done in order to make people laugh. Now to explain this meme, which is a joke, on screen you are watching a point of view shot of the rather famous Generation Zero community member, Burger Player. Burger Player is seen driving a car with no hands on the steering wheel, nor having his driver's license on person. The question might be asked within the viewers, but how could I possibly know this information? The answer is quite simple. I simply asked him before he was going to drive. If you have the knowledge of driving and legal work, then having a license on hand is quite important, as it would be necessary to have in case the police caught him for speeding and not having the license on hand could result in various criminal and illegal consequences. The same can go for driving handless, as it can result in burger player crashing or worse, kill a fellow human being. However, in this joke that is a meme, burger player is able to control his car with his mind as noticed by the lack of hand or arms in the shop. This makes you think that burger player has either mind control or has data mined car assets and reverse engineered the car. However, as it turns out, both of those are quite false. This can be explained with reasonable proof, for you see, what the burger player has done is with normal gameplay function within Generation Zero has crawled in to this two-door car and taken a picture within. This process is quite simple and can be easily done within two minutes of trying. Then once you are in the vehicle, known as a car, you activate photo mode. This is a mode in the game, known as photo mode, in which you can take pictures of the point of view from your character without having your heads up display items on your screen. With this picture, Burger Player has gone into photo editing software known as Photoshop. There, he has taken the screenshot of the car dashboard. However, as in my specialization within artistic knowledge, its audiovisual format known as film and movies, I do not believe I can do this explanation justice. So I have brought in this expert who now will take over this explanation of the process that describes how this joke and meme was created. I'm extremely grateful for this feature. Hello, I'm Pufti and I've been mastering photo editing with Photoshop for 8 years. I have contributed a large collection of memes that has enticed me to take this offer in explaining the nuanced art of photo editing. These days most things can be done virtually which means that they may not be tangible objects at times but can be converted from the virtual to physical. The way photo editing contributes to this comes from history where the physical photo is taken from the surroundings and captured on a single tangible object. These days this image information isn't burnt on a physical object but rather stored virtually, which creates the possibility to either extract from the physical realm and convey in virtual space, or vice versa. In this scenario there are used different means of conveying this virtual information on top of each other as virtual photos, thus creating copies of the virtual image. A photo is taken virtually through a game world, or this virtual realm then saved as this virtually captured photo and brought to one of the many computer programs capable of manipulating the virtual image information in ways that can immensely change the outcome of the image. You can either slightly manipulate the settings of the virtual image or change the aspects beyond recognition to be saved as its own virtual image. 
The technique applied by the photo editing software's user Burger Player is comparable to real life actions of cutting out parts of an image with scissors, then putting that image on top of a moving object or space. The way this is done is quite fascinating and has taken me 8 years to comprehend the sheer scale of possibility with tools left at our fingertips. This virtual photo editing software comes with tools that can be instructed point by point with our mouse cursors and keyboard commands from the computer to instruct the photo editing software in creating a custom shape. The shape then can be used in instructions in further action to change the outcome of the image in any way like blurring what has been selected in the field, extracting specific image information from this field, or completely terminating all visual data within this field. This specific technique has been used on the virtual image in question to remove multiple fields in a manner that would seem as removing the glass and windows from the car. This creates the impression that there is this void past this image's window, but in reality this only expands the possibilities. It's fascinating and truly advanced stuff. Right, so what our user has done with this extermination of image information in the fields is he has extracted the image with holes inside of him or alpha channels in a specific computer image format so the property of transparency or the holes inside the image are preserved in this newly manipulated version of the image. Next, this image with its incredibly complicated properties is brought in another software that would take me years of research to learn to use. Video editing software. Severely different from photo editing. Our user has taken the image with its properties and put on top of whatever footage has been gathered virtually from the same virtual space or game world. The still image's transparency works in favor of showing through whatever the projected under it is, in which case is a video. This creates the idea or illusion that the car is being currently used as the frame of the car that was preserved in the image, with empty window area showing the footage under it in these two layers. A layer on top with the car and layer on bottom with the footage. The illusion is not very effective as there is no seeming change or visible usage of the vehicle or image, but it's capable of showing the idea, and that's what's important. I would like to express my gratitude for the clear and understandable explanation that Sir Pofty, the great scholar, scholar of all scholars, have given us here in this segment. I sincerely hope that the person whom have watched this will now have a great understanding of a meme that is a joke and also the advanced techniques which have been used to create the illusion of a moving vehicle. In these very difficult times, we must remember to not always think of the negatives and therefore must embrace the good. Unfortunately, many humans seem to forget this and dwell on the worst aspects of life. Now, it is with my great pleasure to announce that this collection of various clips to be continued which hopefully brings you joy and laughter. Puff the tape poses to assert his knowledge dominance. Our witness death. Von Ulmer's chimney is blocked and his fence doesn't reach the ground. And the tick never escaped the void. <laughs> 